Okay, in today's video we will be looking at the Toshiba satellite Mm. 2180 CDT and this is a laptop of course and here is this thing you control your cursor with on your computer this knob there and there's also these that's the mm, left click where it's meant to be, and that's meant to be the right click. And of course, it does have a standard keyboard, except the Windows button is right there next to pause break, and mm, this thing. I don't know what that is, mm, but uh, delete. Hmm. And insert should go there instead of right here. And backslash is right there. Which really confuses me. Uh, be uh, they did that because um, it is really small. I mean, look at it. it. It has an 800 by 600 display. which is actually quite small and it also has LED lights in fact it has too much LED lights probably using most of its power and you have a three and a half inch floppy drive that is right there Uh, I'll show you. There's the three and a half inch floppy drive, and it also has a mm, CD drive. Mm, I'll show you uh, the CD drive. Let me turn this thing around. And the CD drive is right there. And here is the headphones, the m microphone, and I think this controls the settings. And you also have your PS2 cable and your USB cable right there. And I have my mouse on it because I can't stand using this. Although I can still use the keyboard. And it also has speakers, so there's sound on it as well. You also have your PC MCIA. And I think that that's just nothing. However, that, I'm thinking it's your dial-up port. Or either your phone. I don't know, it's just very old. And you also have your fan there, and you also have mm, this thing there that they still use today. And this is the power button. This is very confusing to me because the power button, it, it should be there. However, on these laptops, it's right there. And this is yet... An introduction to a netbook. I'll turn it round again. You also have your VJ and SVJ output. And you also have your AC adapter port. And this is another fan. And I think that will be the fan for the processor. And... It also has a parallel port. And the thing that I don't like about this is that it uses that for internet. And I'm thinking that's dial-up. 
I don't know whether dial-up is wireless or wired. I've only just heard that it's very slow. But it lacks an LAN port. <laughs> it, it's meant to be uh, more backwards compatible because of the fact that it runs on Windows 98 Second Edition. <clears throat> anyway, let's turn on this computer. And yes, there is a bit of a line there, but it doesn't matter. I, I'm fine with that. It doesn't really annoy me. The only thing that annoys me is that it, there's no internet port. So you can't have internet on it, except for this phone symbol there. And there's nothing there, except for the fan. You know, I think they should have used this area as the internet. Or either this area. In fact, they should have swapped side. They should have put the power button right there. And added that as the internet port. But... Our sound is actually quite good on this computer. And I do have a lot of things installed on it. And it runs about... At... It's meant to be a 42 gigabyte computer. Well, not 42, but... 4 gigabytes... Let me just change the wallpaper. Yeah, it shows this wallpaper sometimes. This isn't the one. I'll just set that as the wallpaper. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it does have a lot of problems in terms of functionality because it doesn't have a very powerful graphics card. In fact, someone actually thought of installing Windows XP on there, but... It didn't work as well as they intended. And let's try and get some programs running on it. Let's enjoy a good game of mm, golf. Okay, now, as you can tell, it is in full screen, but the taskbar is still showing. Let's go on a new round. What's the ground condition? I might as well do that.
and it appears that we have more buttons than we should anyway let's just do a quick start and we are not going to insert the disc right now let's just do a preview and it's still loading and of course it asks us to um, go on the internet I think we press this practice button and it isn't doing anything I'll just do a control alt delete Control alt delete all right now my Microsoft golf ninety eight isn't responding that well with our computer. Sorry about my hand going over the camera. I'll try not to do that. I want to show you how a direct 3D game would work on there. My dog's barking. And yes, it's playing the 3D pinball music. Who would have thought that they were allowed to do that? Because clearly they're not allowed to... Not give credit. Oh, crap. Anyway, that, that's what a direct 3D game would look like, and sorry. Anyway, it is still playable, except for the fact that the developers didn't make the controls that good. And yes, the Space Cadet 3D pinball music is still running. Oh, come on! I want to quit. Apparently you can't quit this. Okay, <laughs> now I'll quit this. In fact, what does the options have? Render is not direct 3D. And it's very hard recording with an Android as a camera. <sighs> Let's see how it works with the mouse. And the game decided to quit. Didn't it? I don't know. 
a Luby. And yet it decided not to quit this time. Because we have lost the changes. The game still decided to quit on us. Let's just do something else. Uh, getting ready for It's just being a real pain. It's not the best computer for gaming, but I still recommend getting one if you want to play... In fact, don't get this computer unless if you want a low resolution display. In fact, why would you get a low resolution display? Unlike that computer over there, or either the computer right there, or either this TV, or that TV. I mean, it's the smallest screen I've got on a computer. It's not very good. Let's just shut it down. Apparently, we need to quit this. And yet, we have the classic Windows 98 shutdown music. Well, not music, but sound. This computer is also slow. I recommend getting a Gateway Solo 9300. That's much better for games and everything else because it can run quite fast. Or either run the Packard Bell Easy Note. Uh, 